to hold sacred America's fundamental principles from the rule of law to free and fair elections to the peaceful transfer of power. This house emerged as the Democratic candidate a little more than a month ago when 81-year-old President Joe Biden quit the race amid concerns about his age and fitness. Thailand has confirmed its first case of a new, potentially deadlier strain of MCAS, the Trade 1B strain. It's the first in Asia and the second confirmed case outside Africa. Lisa Penn reports. The patient is a 66-year-old European man who arrived in Bangkok from an unspecified African nation last week. He tested positive for the virus after going to the hospital with a fever and small bumps on his skin. Thailand's Department of Disease Control has identified 43 close contacts and put them under surveillance. They say no other local infections have been detected through contact tracing so far. Now, the Tourism Alliance country says it will tighten surveillance and screening measures at all its international entry points, including Bangkok's Suvarnabhumi Airport. Travelers from 42 countries with MPOX outbreaks will have to register with the Thai Health Ministry online before leaving for the kingdom and then under their screening once they arrive. Indonesia's lawmakers have announced that they will not be ratifying changes to election rules during the current government's term. The reversal follows widespread demonstrations that broke out in the capital to condemn what's perceived as a bid by President Joko Widodo to build a political dynasty before he steps down in October. The legislature had planned on a vote to reverse a constitutional court ruling on election procedures. The proposed changes to election laws would have made President Joko Jokowi's youngest son eligible to join a gubernatorial race. Reports also say it would have enabled President Jokowi's allies, as well as President-elect Prabowo Subianto, to run virtually uncontested in elections in central Java and Jakarta. Despite the retreat from lawmakers, protest protesters have pledged to keep up the pressure on the government. And that wraps the news on Freedom at any time on CNA 938 and CNA.Asia. At 2.35, it's time for Asia Business on CNA 938. Bank of Japan Governor Kazuo Ueda says the central bank is ready to raise rates if the economy and prices move in line with its forecast. These are his first public comments following the global market meltdown earlier this
about Asia. If you could write a letter to your younger self, what would you say? Learn to love myself so that when the person that you want to love comes your way, you are ready to share the love that you have built in yourself. I'm thankful for the younger me for not giving up or running away and always get out of the comfort zone and just keep trying. life-shaping lessons and wisdom from our guests from all walks of life a letter to my